Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. For today, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the comprehensive income statement as fast as possible and as, as simple as possible. For, so for, for this question, it says the XYZ company adjusted trial balance for December 31st, 2021. Now, as you can see, we have several accounts in here and uh, we have several nodes and we have the tax percentage and we have two requirements which are prepare the comprehensive income statement and calculate earnings per share. Um, now, uh, as you know, for the comprehensive income statement, uh, for, uh, like it needs to, to get um, the net sales, the cost of goods sold, the gross profit, um, and then we need to calculate the total expenses and then um, the other income and other expenses. And then, uh, which is the last thing, we need to calculate the comprehensive income items. Um, now we need to go for the Excel sheet and start to solve this question as you can see here um, we go to the first cell um, now for the sales we have no like fright out or sales discount so we take it as it is in the credit here and uh, we uh, we add up the service revenue as well so we're gonna say the net sales are equal to 27,800 which are the, sell, the the merchandise sales and the service revenue which are 27,800 now we need to calculate the cost of goods sold which are the beginning inventory plus the purchasing minus the ending inventory now if we have a fright n we also add it up we say plus the fright n so as you can see in here we're going to go for the calculator and say um, beginning inventory which are 11,200 uh, plus the purchasing 3,500 minus the ending inventory which are 4,600 so now the cost of goods sold is 10,100 uh, now uh, the gross profit is equal to um, the net sales minus the cost of goods sold this net sales minus the cost of goods sold, which is equal to 17,700. Now, uh, the gross profit, uh, we need to um, minus the expenses. Now, the expenses are, as you can see in here, bad debt expense, utilities expenses, interest expenses, rent expenses, water and electricity expenses. So now, basically, we're going to sum all of these together. We're going to aggregate them. Um, the bad debt expense, which is 2000, plus the utilities expenses, which is um, 3600, plus the interest expense, which is 1980, plus the rent expense, which is 3800, plus the water and electricity expense, which is 1100, um, which is equal to 12480. 12,000, oh, oops, 12,480. Um, now we need to um, calculate the income from operation, which is equal to um, gross profit minus the expenses equal to the income from operation. Now, after we calculated the income from operation, we need to add the other expenses and other income so now we say the other income and other expenses and as you can see in the note number two it says the company obtained gain on lease for 15,000 and the company paid 20,000 for warehouse rent now for the other notes we don't need them because they are comprehensive um, now we go for the excel sheet again and we say um, gain on lease and it is 15,000 and uh, there is a warehouse rent which is um, 12,000 oops 12,000 in here now we say the income income from operation and non-operation which is equal to the income from operation plus the gain minus the other expenses which is equal to 8,820 
so now basically after we have done with the um, income from operation and non-operation we need to calculate the tax for the income statement now we say tax is 15 percentage it is a given from the question um, we say 15 percentage multiplied by the income from operation and non-operation oops we forgot to put the equal as you can see which is 1233 now we need to say the net income from operation and non-operation which is um, the income from operation non-operation minus the tax we just calculated which is 6987 okay now after we have done with the um, normal income statement we need to calculate the comprehensive income statement now we say comprehensive comprehensive income statement items which are the um, from notes from four to seven now as you can see for the note number four it says the company suffered 8,500 8, losses due to, the, to a decrease in the value of inventory due to the accumulation of goods so now we say um, losses losses due to a decrease in the value of inventory which are um, 800 okay so now this is a very important note you guys need to um, memorize uh, for the comprehensive income for the comprehensive income um, items we need to calculate the tax for every item for every note we get okay so now basically we add the 15 percentage tax again tax 15 percentage and we're gonna come here and say equal 15 percentage multiplied uh, by 8500 which is equal to 1275 now we need to say the net losses due to a decrease and so on and we say the uh, equal the p13 minus the tax we just calculated which is equal to 7225 so now for the next note we need to calculate the tax again now we we'll go for the fifth note which says lose 2000 due to a discontinuation of reduction line number nine to five now we say um, suffer of loss due to change in line number which is equal to 2000 uh, now we need to go for the um, uh, for the tax again tax 15 percentage which says equal 50 percentage multiplied by the 2000 and we are gonna say the net suffer of loss again which is equal to 2000 minus the 300 which is equal to 1700 now we're gonna go for the next stop um, which says the company suffered loss due to the COVID-19 we say COVID-19 loss which is equal to um, 3600 as you can see in here we're gonna uh, add the tax again 15 percentage which says equal to 15 percentage multiplied by um, the COVID-19 loss and we're gonna add the net COVID-19 loss which is equal to this cell minus this cell which is equal to 3060 and now um, we're gonna go for the final note which says the company changes the method of calculating of the, the depreciation of fixed assets from the FIFO method to the weighted average which led to gain of 18,300 now we say gain on changing from FIFO to weighted weighted average which is 18,300 we're gonna add the tax as well tax 15 percentage we're gonna say 15 percentage multiplied by the um, oops we forgot to add the equal 
and now we're gonna say the net gain on changing from FIFO to um, weighted average and we say the cell minus the cell which is equal to 15,555 now we're gonna go for the net income finally um, let me make it a little bit bigger as you can see here in the net income we need to go for the um, for every net we just calculated um, we go for net income from operation and non-operation this cell minus net losses due to, due to decrease minus net suffer of loss minus net COVID loss plus the net gain on changing from FIFO to the weighted average and we we'll press on enter and as you can see we have net income equals to 10,575 um, th that was the solution hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you have any question please let me know in the comments below and hopefully you guys um, pass your tests and um, have a great night thanks for watching bye have a great time